back to my channel as you can see I am back in my usual location so yeah my room's been redecorated so brilliant so today's video is going to be 17 things to do while in isolation very fitting for the time at the moment so I've got my notebook here Gemini and I've wrote down my 17 things to do in isolation I hope everyone's doing well I hope no one's getting too bored so first thing that you can do is you can make a scrapbook if you like and there's this app that I use to print out my photos from my scrapbook that I've not bought yet but I will buy and it's this app here called free prints yeah it's called free prints and basically I'm gonna add a screen recording of um, what the app looks like on the face of it and how you use it so basically I'm just gonna do this right so you get 45 free prints a month which is brilliant and you can do photo books on here so if you don't want to do a scrapbook you can literally pick photos you want in the photo book and they will deliver it for you so it's, it's wonderful really and then see so you can literally choose any photos you want any at all and then all you do is you pay for the delivery that's it and considering to print photos is actually quite expensive so that app is a godsend I'm telling you also another app that I like this this prints up Polaroids Polaroid kind of vid like pictures so you know if you ain't got a Polaroid camera or you haven't taken the photos you want to print on your Polaroid camera you can always just print them as Polaroid and it's this app called La La Lab I don't know if you can see it's called La La Lab and um, basically I will include a recording of this too this you don't get free prints you just can um, print like prints photo box so you can get like a certain amount of photos um, in one box you can get a calendar wall decor magnets phone cases everything mate so that's a really good app to use also oh my camera's flashing let's hope that it lasts till the end of the video if not there'll be two separate clips so things you can use in your scrapbook would be you can use some like glittery pens like silver gold you can use some glitter like put a bit of glue on the page chuck a bit of glitter on it bush bush sorry not bush bush then we've got photo corners these like little triangular corners that you put on the edge of your photos to make them look i don't know whatever and you can put pattern paper around it give it a bit of a theme a bit of texture anything else you want to add i mean feel free give me some ideas in the comments what you've got number two learn a new language now i've been using the app duolingo it looks like this it's got a little um what do you call that an owl a bird one of them things whoops and i've been learning spanish on the app completely free wonderful free and also use this time to learn new things so the open university have decided to do some free classes on the website so they have loads of different like sub subcategories like they had like biology psychology all these things like spanish i, I chose that then they had like um english writing english literature everything you could think of was there and also there's another app that you can use to um learn things so this is more like technical things so you can learn like instagram posts how to get them popular you can learn about youtube seo you can learn about um write a blog doing podcasts all that kind of stuff and it's an app here and it's called udemy and everyone don't worry i will link everything in the description bar below because if you can't find it that's going to be a bit of a bagger isn't it so number four what you can do four so number four is you can learn to cook this is something i have been doing quite a bit actually to be honest 
I never thought I would enjoy cooking or actually be alright and not burn the house down, but I've not been bad. I made this recipe for my mum, which is going to be on Cooking with Carly, so, you know, keep an eye out for that. Um, it's called the, the saucy, saucy Sausage Pasta Recipe, and I made that for my mum. She told me it's the best meal she had in ages. I felt really like, oh yeah. I've made some brownies, which is going to be on Cooking with Carly. Um, I've made gnocchi. Um, I've made the stuffed peppers that were in the video um, on Saturday. I've also made some sweet potato fries that were in Cooking with Carly. Loads of things. Like, honestly, it's really great to start cooking. Honestly, I love it. Um, number... Number five is to do a daily workout. Me and my mother have been doing that Joe Wicks thing daily. And also I've been following um, some exercise um, routines from a YouTuber influencer I follow called Sid and L, but it's the L part, Ellie, the one I've been getting the videos from. I'll link these in the description below too, so you can have a look. Next, number six. Read a book. So I've got some recommendations on my mobile that you can do. So I've got books to read. The Couple Next Door. I've heard great things about this one. Also, The Stranger in the House, The Family Upstairs, Date Night, Funny Bones, The Guest List, The Other Woman. Now that film, I bloody love it. Behind Closed Doors. The Stranger. Now, I've seen a series of that, but I want to read the book because it could be different and, you know, give it a try. Also, we've got some crime thrillers for all you crime thriller people out there. you got some a Killer's Mind, A Girl on the Train, which I want to get because I love the movie, Evil Games, and Close to Home. Oh, and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Yeah. So, number seven is to redecorate your room or a bedroom or anything in your house or just rearrange, really, if you want to get a bit of a different different perspective of your room. Yeah, so do that. It'll be fun, <laughs> she says. Right, number eight is to sort out your wardrobe. So if you've got any clothes that just been sitting in your wardrobe, just there, you don't wear them, I would advise you to go through your wardrobe, you know, sort out the clothes, maybe give them to charity, maybe sell them. I mean, this is something I definitely need to do, to be honest. So that's something I'm going to get to. Number nine is um, play Monopoly or do a puzzle. So this can get all the family involved, so everyone can get involved playing Monopoly or doing a puzzle so they don't get bored. And trust me, it will take up a lot of your time. It will be a great time killer. Number 10 is clean your makeup brushes. If you understand the struggle of cleaning your makeup brushes, it's a chore that no one likes. I mean, I don't like it. And sort out your makeup. So if you've got any old, old out of date makeup, you know, just chuck it, innit? 11. Clean your car if you've got one. I mean, it's a great thing to do. And also, it'll come out looking something and new. It'll come up looking sparkly, sparkly and new. Number 12. Make TikTok videos. Now I know everyone's downloaded TikTok since we started isolation and honestly it's, it's just a great thing to watch. Like you just watch it and you think, oh that video, another video and half an hour down the line you watch about 50 videos, ain't you? So I bloody love it. Also, great to get the family involved. Me and my mother did the oh na 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 challenge and that was a really fun challenge. Number 13 is have a pamper day. You know, if you've got a sister or your mum, you can um, have a pamper day with or just do it on your own. Have a face mask, do your hair, do your nails. Everything will look perfect. Number 14. Sort out your finances. Now this might sound boring, but it could be a good time to start a saving, you know, a saving, what do they call it? 
can I call it? Like a saving strategy. A saving strategy. Like, uh, I'm going to save £10 this month. Then I'm going to do £11 next month. Like, sort it out. So that you save money without even knowing. And by the end of the year, you might have a £1,000 saved. Number 15. Make cocktails. Now, this is wonderful. Because we all have a good cocktail, don't we, everyone? We all have a good cocktail. You girls are the porn star martinis. Woo! So, you can do this at home. If you've got a cocktail maker, i got one. You know, just put, you get a bit of juice, get a bit of alcohol, shake it up a bit, and you know, have a fun time. You know, alcohol is fun in moderation. Number 16. Start drawing or painting. If you do enjoy drawing and painting, why don't you do it in your spare time as soon as you've got loads now? You can draw some of your favourite, you know, characters, paint some watercolours, you know. Lovely job. Now the last one, number 17. My lucky number this one is. Help a vulnerable person do their shopping or anything they need. This is the most important one on the list, everyone. Because there's so many vulnerable people at the moment that are on their own, have no one to help them, and they need shopping and they can't leave the house because of the coronavirus. So if you could, you know, just ring someone a day or knock on their door, leave them a little note, you know, honestly, it'll make their day. Like, we've been ringing my nan and granddad every single day and it makes their, it makes their day every day to hear us calling them. And my nan at home, she knows she's been going crazy. So doing little things like playing cards with her or like, you know, sitting out in the garden just makes them feel a bit more happy and, you know, not like they're all on their own. So they're my 17 things to do in isolation. If you've got any, you can write down in the comments any ideas and I'll give them a shot, eh? Also... If you've got any recommendations of books or anything like that, leave it in the comments. Any videos you want me to give a go, you can leave that in the comments too. Also, I'll leave everything I've linked or talk about, all these apps and all that stuff. I'll leave all the links and all that in the, in the description box below so you can all have a look at it and that. And yeah, there, oh, there is a little tool that you can use. The makeup brushes one, just coming back to it. You can use a little tool. There's like a little grid mat that you can <laughs> over it or like... Um, there's this thing you put your brush in and it spins it about. I mean, I don't have either of them. I just use my hands. But if you want to give it a go, you can have a have a look at it. So I'll try and link some of them things below. Um, yeah, so I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't get too bored, everyone. Try out some of the things I've mentioned. And hopefully we're not in this for too long. Stay well, everyone. And yeah, just enjoy life because... You know, you've got to seize every moment, everyone. Okay, so make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel, make sure you share the video with your family and friends, and turn on my little notification bell. Love it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.